Hello there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. So today's meditation, uh, the invitation is to do this lying down, if that's comfortable for you. So just make sure that you have got something comfortable to lie down on. So either blanket or if you're on carpet or your yoga mat and have a cushion for your head. And if you've got a pillow or a bolster for underneath your knees, that can just be really lovely just to release the lower back. Uh, so when you're ready, make sure you're warm and you're comfortable and then let's come down onto the back. Just taking a little bit of time to set yourself up. If you've got a bolster or cushion underneath your knees, just allowing the heels to be touching the ground underneath you, your mat underneath you. Just allow the arms to be just a little bit further away from the body, palms upturned. And whenever you're ready, just closing down the eyes. If for any reason lying down feels just uncomfortable or just feels too overwhelming to have your eyes slightly, just have your eyes closed and you could just keep the eyes slightly open or come up into a seated position. And now let's start to just listen into the breathing. Noticing the rise and fall of the belly. And starting to open to what's here for you right now. Just noticing how you're feeling. And how your body's feeling. Just whatever's present for you. giving yourself permission to select go of whatever you've been doing, whatever you have coming up, allowing yourself to be right here. Starting to just feel into the weight of the body. This particular if you're lying down, just surrendering the weight of the whole body. Just feeling supported by the ground underneath you. For today's practice, we'll primarily let our attention rest on our body sensations. But you might also just notice other, other aspects of your experience, thoughts and sounds. And you can just allow that to be there, noticing what they are, and just coming back to the sensory mode. Just 
take a few deeper, fuller breaths here. So slowing down your inhale. And then slowing down the exhale. And then once again, slowing down the inhale. And slowing down the exhale. Just one more full breath like that. Inhaling, filling the chest and the lungs. And then exhaling completely. And if it feels good, keep working with those fuller breaths. So you can come back to it whenever you need to. Otherwise, just allow the breath to just return to its natural rhythm. Some breaths might be short and some breaths might be long. And let's tune into our intention. Our intention for the practice, for meditating today, as well as our deeper intention. It may be something that you're already working with, or it may be something, something new. And if possible, letting go of striving here. Just dropping into your deeper intention of how you want to be, how you want to live your life. Now let's bring the attention to the right heel. Just any sensation, the right heel, maybe in contact with the mat or the ground underneath you. And the sides of the foot, the sole of the foot, and the top of the foot. And the right big toe second toe, third toe, and fourth toe. That's all five toes together. The tips of the toes and the toenails, and the whole right foot. The right ankle, the right shin, the sides of the lower leg and the right calf, the right knee and back of the knee, the right thigh, sides of the leg and the back of the leg. And the whole right leg. And the right hip. And taking the awareness over to the left hip. And traveling down the leg to the left heel. opening to any sensations here, maybe some tingling, vibrating, temperature, 
the sides of the left foot, the sole of the foot, top of the foot, the toes, the big toe, the second left toe, third toe, and fourth toe. It's all five toes together. Tips of the toes and the toenails. Just having a sense you feel the toes individually or is it more broad? And the whole of the left foot, the left ankle, left shin, sides of the left lower leg, calf, left knee, and back of the knee, top of the left thigh, sides of the leg, sides of the thigh, and the back of the thigh, and the whole left leg. Left hip. And coming into the pelvic region. Right at the base of the pelvis. It's the reproductive organs. Lower belly. This opening to whatever you can feel here. Maybe on the surface and then also inside. It's maybe tingling, the pulsing. Coming to the back of the pelvis, the lower back. Maybe pressing, the pressing of the, the lower back and the back of the pelvis on the mat. And coming a little bit further up into the middle part of the back. And the upper back. Backs of the shoulders. It's coming back to the front of the pelvis, the lower belly, coming up a little bit higher around the navel area, Just listening in for what's here, maybe there's sensations of hunger, fullness, satisfaction, and perhaps there may be emotional tone. Just observing whatever's here with kindness Remembering that deeper grounding breath that you can come back to whenever you need to. It's coming up the front of the torso, between the navel and the rib cage and around the chest and the heart area. Perhaps feeling the rise and fall of the breathing. It's 
It's coming up across the collarbones, coming over to the right shoulder, the right upper arm, right elbow, forearm, and the wrist, and the right hand the palm of the hand and the back of the hand, the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, fourth finger and little finger. All five fingers and the whole hand together and the whole right arm just allowing the awareness to travel back up the right arm, across the shoulders, over to the left shoulder, left upper arm, left elbow, left forearm, wrist, left hand, left thumb, index finger, middle finger, fourth finger and little finger. All five fingers and the whole left hand, the whole left arm. Allowing the attention to come back up the left arm, across the left shoulder, in the centre of the shoulders and the right shoulder. Feeling into the front of the throat and the back of the neck. Just opening to whatever's here. And it's often a place where we can hold tension and just accidentally So noticing if on the exhale, you can encourage just a bit of softening, a bit of letting go. It's feeling into the back of the head, the pressure of the head resting down on your cushion or blanket sides of the head, the right ear, and the left ear, and the top of the head. It's coming to the face, the forehead, and the right temple, and the left temple, the eyebrows, the eyes and the eyelids. Just noticing any sensations here, just opening up. You might notice a bit of light filtering through the eyelids, warmth. flickering or just temperature. It's the cheeks, the jaw, unhinging the jaw, the nose, the sides of the nose, the bridge of the nose, sensation of the breath coming in, and the breath coming out. And the lips, and the chin. This feeling inside the mouth, allowing the tongue to really relax down to the lower palate. And the teeth and the warmth inside the mouth. It's 
it's coming back just to the face, allowing the brow to smooth out. And coming up to the crown of the head and having a sense of the whole body from the crown all the way down to the tips of the toes. Sense of the whole front of the body and the whole back of the body. And the whole right side of the body. And the whole left side of the body. And the whole body together. Opening up to the field of sensation throughout the whole body. Just feeling into your aliveness. Allowing the, the attention to come back to the breathing. Following the breath in and out. And for a moment, I want you to recall your intention, your intention for the practice and any deeper intention for your life. Just allowing that intention to fill you. Acknowledging your effort to practice today. And if there has been anything difficult that's come up for you, it's perhaps bringing in a little bit of kindness. It's resting into the knowledge that this practice nourishes and fills you. So you can be more deeply resourced as you move throughout your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.